Hello YouTube, this is Debarshi Kundu again. It's been like, oh, I don't know, nearly two years. Feels so good to be back. So today, I would like to show you guys a problem my friends confronted three to four years ago as Algebra 1 students. The friends I went to school with were all gifted and talented, so we were known to overthink problems, and not to mention procrastinate. Our middle school was filled with kids who had talent and ambition, yet sometimes felt stuck by the rigor they endured. I was one of those kids. This problem caused many of my mathematically inclined friends to have a heart attack and scared the wits out of me. So I became so it became one of the many reasons I decided to test out of Algebra 1. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the monkey problem. So what we have here is interesting. A rope is placed over the top of a fence. The same amount of rope on both sides of the fence. The rope weighs one third pound per foot. On one end of the rope hangs a monkey holding a banana and on the other end is a weight equal in weight to the weight of the monkey. The banana weighs 2 ounces per inch. The length of the rope in feet is equal to the age of the monkey in years. And the weight of the monkey in ounces is as much as the age of the monkey's mother in years. The combined ages of the monkey and its mother are 30 years. The weight of the banana plus half of the weight of the monkey is one-fourth as much as the sum of the weights of the weight and the rope where all the weights are in the same units. The monkey's mother is half as old as the monkey will be when it is three times as old as its mother was when she was half as old as the monkey will be when it is twice as old as it is now. How long is the banana? What we have here is a ton of gibberish. Just a play on words meant to confuse you. It eluded me, too. So in order to solve this problem, we must first break it into pieces. So first, let's start by trying to figure out the monkey, the monkey's ages. Let's, su let's substitute a variable a for the monkey's current age. And a, and a variable B for the weight of the banana. And a variable M for the current age of the monkey's mother. So far so good. Remember that the monkey's mother is half as old as the monkey will be when it is three times as old as its mother was when she was half as old as the monkey will be when it is twice as old as it is now. So let's represent this using variables m and a m equals half of 3 of half of 2a. So what we did here was basically just made an equation substituting variables instead of instead of the exact ages, numerical ages. So what we just basically followed the script of the problem that um, the monkey's mother is 
half as old as the monkey will be when it is three times as old as its mother was when she was half as old as the monkey will be when it's twice as old as it's now. Simplifying this equation, half times two equals one, three times one is three, and half of three is 1.5. We get that M, or the mother's age, equals 1.5A. So now that M is 1.5A, we have to remember that the monkey's age and the mother's age add up to 30. So A plus M equals 30. Now since M is 1.5A, we can substitute in 1.5A for A. And we get 2.5a. So 2.5a equals 30. Solving for a gives us the monkey's current age. 30 divided by 2.5, which is 12 years old. Subtracting the monkey's age from 30, aka subtracting 12 from 30, gives us the mom's age, which is 18 years old. So basically, we can say that M equals 12. Sorry, sorry. A equals 12 and M equals 18. Good. Then we do something pretty interesting. So the problem tells us that the length of the rope in feet is equal to the age of the monkey in years, and the weight of the monkey in ounces is the same as the age of the monkey's mother in years. So the length of the rope equals 12 feet. And the weight of the monkey equals 18 ounces. Since the weight of the rope is one-third pound per foot, and since the rope's length is 12 feet, the weight of the rope is 4 pounds, as one-third of 12 is 4. Then we recall that the weight of the banana plus half of the weight of the monkey is one-fourth as much as the sum of the weights of the weight and the rope where all weights are in the same units. Let's translate this into an equation. Since the monkey weighs 18 ounces, we can substitute 18 where necessary. All the weights have to be in the same unit. So since there are 16 ounces in a pound, we can substitute in 64 ounces for the weight of the rope in the equation. B equals, sorry, 
B plus of 18 equals 1 fourth of 18 plus And since all the weights have to be in the same unit, and since there are 16 ounces in a pound, we can substitute 64 ounces for the weight of the rope in the equation. 64. We then solve for B, or the banana's weight, which we find to be 11.5 ounces. How do we get this? So we just multiply 1 fourth by 82 and subtract 9 from it. And, and we find 11.5. So then we get B equals 11.5 ounces. Finally, we divide 11.5 by 2 since the banana weighs 2 ounces per inch so the weight of so the length of the banana L equals 11.5 divided by 2 which equals 5.75 And finally, we have ar arrived at our answer, 5.75 inches. So that was a lot of work, but loads of fun. This seemingly harsh problem was simplified into a very easy, simple series of algebraic equations. I'd like to thank my former teacher and mentor, Mr. Simmons, for exposing my friends and I to this challenge. We all love you, Mr. Simmons. Quail Valley will never be the same without you. And thanks to all those friends of mine who went to QVMS with me. Y'all are one of a kind, and I enjoy working with you every single day.